Hey everybody, welcome back to yet another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg and welcome for all of you who are returning viewers and those who are new. Thank you for joining us. Uh, everybody, if you have not yet, please consider subscribing. It helps to support this channel. With that said, let's get into today's video very quickly in today's video. I just want to go over this. Do we have a number two wide receiver? We have plenty of what I consider solid wide receivers on this team. Of course, we've got our by far our number one wide receiver, Terry McLaurin. I mean, that is no question whatsoever in Terry McLaurin. Scary Terry is our number one guy, and he definitely needs to have a complement of a solid number two so as to take pressure off of him whenever... People want to double team Terry McLaurin to take him out of the ball game. We need some other guys to step up. Now, we've had some good play out of the guys like Adam Humphreys, um, Cam Sims when he's been able to be utilized and he's in there. Um, Diami Brown was very streaky. We didn't see a whole lot from him last year. You know, of course, he's a rookie, so... Let's see what happens with him <clears throat> Excuse me, in his uh, sophomore year. I expect him to make a leap ahead, and hopefully he will be a little bit um, more of a, a contributor into the offense, especially now that we have a quarterback who can stretch the, the, the football down the field, get these guys on these go routes, and I think that's when you're going to see Diami Brown uh, shine. I think that's that's uh, I think that's to his strength. So that could be what turns him into possibly being the number two guy. And of course, Curtis Samuel. We couldn't. We tried our best to get him on the field last year. Battled injuries throughout the entire season. We just never could. Many felt that before the the season that Curtis Samuel is going to be our number two guy. Um, you know, Terry McLaurin, Curtis Samuel, and then whoever else is going to be behind him as the number three slot guys. And it just didn't really work out that way. So I think we're still, you know, number two, I think is still a mysterious position as far as wide receiver. Who is going to step up to be that solid number two wide receiver that we need? You know, back in the uh, 80s, late 80s, Early, early 90s, uh, during the Super Bowl years, we had the posse. We had Gary Clark, Ricky Sanders, Art Monk, or you could say Art Monk, Gary Clark, Ricky Sanders, however you want to put the order in. We had three solid guys who honestly could be the number one receiver on any team in the NFL. These guys were basically number one A, B, and C, and you could fight over who is A, B, and C. I mean... These guys were dependable, and these guys could, you know, be deep threats, could be possession receivers. Art Monk was always considered more of the possession receiver, but he could get open downfield as well and get behind the, the, the defense. And I think it kind of shocked some of the defenses even later in his career. Art Monk still had the ability to, to do that even though that Gary Clark and Ricky Sanders were more the ones who were considered the, the deeper threats. But still, you know, you have three solid guys you can depend on. So they were really hard to defend because, you know, if you double up on Gary Clark, you're going to leave Ricky Sanders and Art Monk open. If you double team up on Ricky Sanders, you try to double team up on Gary Clark, you're going to leave Art Monk open. I mean... You know, their quarterback always had somebody to go to, whoever the quarterback was. If it was, you know, uh, Mark Rippon throwing to him, if it was Doug Williams or whoever it was, you know, um, you had somebody open within that posse. And, and so now you, you look at here, you've got Terry McLaurin, who even despite sometimes when he is heavily guarded, he can still make these spectacular catches. And, you know, so he can still basically get open even when he's not open and make the, the play. But you need a second guy, and honestly you need a third guy, but you need a second guy who can get open and make these plays. 
And, you know, Cam Sims has made some good plays. He's one of my favorite players, honestly. He's, he's what I call a blue-collar player who goes out there, you know, not a big-name player, honestly, but he goes out there and he makes the big plays. You know, notice I didn't say anything about um, DeAndre Carter because right now he's, he's visiting other teams. We don't even know if we're going to have Carter. I would love to have Carter back because he really was such a valuable player for us last season, but we may not even have him. So I'm already assuming we may lose Carter. So if we lose Carter, which is a very valuable receiver for us, those other guys have got to step up. So who's it going to be? You let me know in the comments below who's going to be the number two quarterback or quarterback. Who's going to be the number two wide receiver? Do we even have a number two wide receiver? Is that guy so far in the distance behind Terry McLaurin that it's just, you know, you double up on Terry McLaurin and, and there's just, you know, who are you going to choose from? Let me know in the comments section below. Let me know what you thought about this video. And guess what? I will see you in the next one.